Hey everybody, Dorian here, and it has been another week since the last vlog, so it's time to catch up with what's going on. So Valentine's Day was this week, and it was pretty good. It was pretty good. What I did is I went to the girlfriend's house and apartment and cooked some dinner. So a little backstory real quick. I have been obsessively watching everything Gordon Ramsay for the last month. Um, I've easily watched in a week's time like 80 hours of footage. Like my breaks at work are watching videos, uh, my time at home watching Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares. Um, same with my lunch at work, like I just like soaking all that shit up because he's so fucking good and charismatic and personable and he's like such a good down to earth humble good human being and it's so fun to watch him it really is so i bought a cast iron i bought a roasting pan uh, went to the butcher got some steaks and um made some and cooked up some steaks for dinner with some wine and sat there and watched 70s game shows it was actually a really good it was a really good evening it was a really good evening a really good valentine's day which was nice. It was really nice. I needed it. So speaking of 70s game shows, because I completely forgot I wanted to talk about this. If any of you guys have ever watched the channel Buzzer, um, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, find it and watch it or look it up. Because 70s game shows are fucking wild, dude. It's, it's weird to look back at a time before all of this when everything was still super, super PC, but everyone was still as like perverted and dirty as they are now and everything they would say, they would have that filter of like politically correct and proper, but it was, you, you knew what they were getting at. And they were playing this game called Match Game, um, which is still around, I think, uh, Celebrity Match Game. The premise of the game is you have the the contestant and they, so they'll give like a, a question or whatever, right? And the contestant comes up with an answer and celebrities come up with, you know, answers. And then everyone that's cur matched, he gets a point, right? They get a point. So the thing was, the, tra the traveling salesman gets blank during his travels or something like that. And the first answer the guy gave was diseases. And then he kind of like eyebrowed. And I was like, ah, I know what you're talking about there. And then like someone else said like woman of the, of the night or something like that. It was just, it, you know what they're getting at, you know? And it's, it's not just that. It's a lot of shows. There's this one guy who's on pretty much every fucking game show at the time. Um, I've seen him on three different game shows now from the 70s and his name is Jack, but it's it's wild to see stuff like a a prize being a 19 inch color television, you know, like holy fuck like that was a big deal back then and it was, you know, $600 and I'm sitting here with my 55 inch um, computer monitor TV screen, which is wild to think about and watching like I saw Betty White on a game show. I didn't even know like she did fucking game shows and she was she was really cool. She was really like how you would expect, a, maybe how you'd expect a young Betty White to be. She was very proper and very like elegant in the way she spoke, um, and her answers were pretty like dry. I think I think she cares a lot less about what she says now than she did back then. Rightfully so, because you know you can get away with pretty much almost anything nowadays. Yeah, I didn't really have an eventful week. I had four days off in a row, and it's the first time I've had like more than like. A day or two off and it was really nice and I did jack shit I literally did nothing but sit here and watch Hell's Kitchen and play video games and then you know the videos I was making last week so I'm done now with Resident Evil and I'm going to finish Layers of Fear tomorrow so I'm gonna start Evil Within probably I, I'm 99% I'm sure I'm gonna do Evil Within and starting this week um, so probably Wednesday in one of the following weeks we're gonna have a, a special guest on the channel for an interview um, and a little game as well and we're gonna start doing more of that we're gonna start revving up um, starting with this interview is gonna be where we're gonna start revving up some more uh, in-depth content some more stuff aside from let's plays um, so we're gonna have that interview and then um, e3 oh I got tickets to e3 um, so I'm gonna do some coverage there. I'm really fucking pumped. Um, E3 is one of those cons. If any of you guys have watched my uh, my vlog from probably two months ago, uh, it was like my New Year's vlog. 
Uh, one of the things I said I wanted to do this year was go do a lot more conventions, like the bigger conventions I've been wanting to go to and I've just been putting it off and whatnot. So, you know, BlizzCon, PAX, AX, E3. Um, I didn't honestly expect to be able to go to E3 um, because it's always been invite only. I didn't expect them to open it to attendees. I mean, even in the limited capacity that they did. So the fact that I get to go is like, I'm fucking jacked and we're gonna hang out in Santa Monica as well. Um, Cause I really like the area. I really wanna see the area. I wanna go um, downtown LA. I wanna check out some YouTube studios and stuff like that as well. But yeah, so E3 is gonna be awesome. Uh, AX is gonna be two weeks after that. Uh, and then I'm gonna try and fit BlizzCon and, and PAX in there if I can. I'm already taking basically a month off work uh, for a bunch of different trips I'm doing over the summer. So you guys are gonna have a ton of crap to watch over the summer because I'm gonna be all over the fucking place. Um, and then also I'm in the works with a friend of mine about doing a partnership for some videos. So um, we should be able to get a lot more original content out there aside from the Let's Plays. So we'll have the Let's Plays and then a lot more original content. Um, and I'm still in talks with doing all that stuff as well as interviews. Um, so yeah, a lot of exciting shit coming up. I didn't really have much to talk about this video because uh, it's been kind of an uneventful week. A lot of my weeks are very uneventful because, you know, I have a fucking another job that I have to deal with and um, I don't really have time for free time. So, but stay tuned because there's going to be plenty of weird shit. Um, I have two videos I'm excited for this week. Two videos I'm excited for this week. One's going to be filmed on Wednesday and the other... Um, probably over the weekend so keep an eye out on thursday for uh one of those videos uh other than that i think that wraps it up for this vlog thank you guys all for joining and me for another week uh and then i will uh be seeing you guys in my next video yeah thank you guys all for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to like share and subscribe uh other than that i hope you all have a wonderful day later